You're watching IGN Live at Gamescom. Usually, cleaning up a mess is the sort of thing that good law-abiding citizens do, but sometimes criminals do it too, like when they're trying to hide all their crimes. Our next game is all about that. Here to tell us about Serial Cleaners, lead designer Krzysztof Shudlowski from Draw Distance Studios. Hey, welcome. Guys. So, uh, this game looks completely different than the first game, which I love the look of. And I want to know how you landed on that and if it was a, like a huge pain in the butt. Like, did someone come in and go, let's overhaul the entire art style and start fresh? Hey, we wanted to make something new, something more complex and to, to yeah, find new territory. And it's, yeah, so we, we went to 90s. We skipped from 70s to 90s. We skipped 80s and, and tried to find a new look. Mm -hmm. We moved to 3D and to, we, we had like two main inspirations. First was uh, 90s cinema, obviously, with its color palette, with, with analog feel, with cellulite, celluloid imperfections. Right. And the second was the postmodern art, and, and uh, pop art, post graffiti art, and neo expressionist art. And Jean Michel Basquiat was one of the main oh, inspirations awesome. for this game. Now, we've got some exclusive gameplay here we're showing off. I mean, this is cinematic here, but you get, you get a feel for the, the style here. Can you talk a little bit about what's new mechanically? Because, you know, this is visually speaks for itself. Yeah. So everything is uh, deepened. It's, it's much more complex than in the first game. We took the, the basic formula of the first game and added layers and more complexity to, to everything. So, so you can uh, clean, you still clean blood, you still are removing corpses from a scene, you are picking up evidence, but you have so much many options to do that. We, we took inspiration from immersive sim, from Hitman series, and yeah, and what's <laughs> important, you have four characters this time. In the first game, you only had one. Right now, you have four characters, and each character has its own playstyle. And what's important as well is this is a stealth action game. So mm -hmm. you are deciding if you are want if you want to play stealthy way or if you want to play it like an action game. So I need to ask you where you drew the line with the sensor thing, because obviously we, there's blood all over the ground. We just saw a man. Uh, Chainsaw someone in half, which you, you didn't show us, took the body parts, threw them into a wood chipper, which exploded blood everywhere, which you did show us. So yeah. what what's tell me how you figured out the push and pull of how much gore I'm I'm allowed to see as the player. Uh, this is dark humor in our game. We mm -hmm. wanted to, to make a few things like like parental adversary stickers and things like that. Yep. So so that's that's why we, we added sensors. Here. So good. Now, yeah. this is, it's set in 1999, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Why, why that time period, and I guess, what is it, how does it affect the story? This is the end of the decade, and our characters are meeting at the funeral house, which serves as a front of their bloody business. And they are talking about uh, the whole decade. They are reminiscing about their bloody missions. Yeah, so, so we wanted to, we are moving to a new millennium, and that's why we, we took this day. So, are, so like they're cleaning, and they're also worried about like the Y2K bug. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that that as well. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, they all the, the four characters differ mechanically. Can you speak a little bit about sort of sure. the different abilities? So right now you can see Bob, who is the, the character from the furthest game, and he has this basic style. He's, each character has its own special ability. So Bob can slide on blood. Uh, this is Psycho. Psycho carries m chainsaw, so he chops bodies. He can <laughs> pick up limbs and uh, and throw them at, at police, knock them down, and lock them in some place to remove them from map. You, you got Lati, which is our, uh, she, she is spraying uh, graffiti on the ground to distract police. And, and also she's the most mobile character and her maps are the most vertical maps in our game. And we got Viper as well. She's a hacker and she can hack electronics remotely. That's, that, that is an extremely 90s hacker name, by the yeah. way. I love the, I love the graffiti being a thing to distract cops. Like, there's an active crime scene, and they're like, wait a minute, somebody's <laughs> been doing spray paint over here. That's it's, it's very specific graffiti, so, so yeah. Where do the ideas come from? Like, we just saw a character being like, I'm going to, he had a vacuum cleaner on, on the blood, on the snow, which I, we all know would make the vacuum cleaner explode. Yeah, that's drawing the line, as you said before, <laughs> with, with, with the snow. We, we want, don't want to clean the snow from the whole map. Uh, yeah, of course, and you don't want to just cover it it's, up with other snow. It's a special vacuum. It it's only a, cleans it's blood. A, it's a it's blood <laughs> snow vacuum. <Yeah. laughs> this is great. I love the indoor environments, too. Um, now, tell me about like some of the conflict here. Like, this, this player has been caught, or like obviously he's not just sort of leisurely hanging out, wood chipping body parts anymore. Now that there's there's other people that can see you, they're hunting you, they're stalking you. Yeah. Um, how does how does that gameplay flip over from just like cleaning? 
Yeah, sure. What is important, each mission is tied to a specific character. And we have a few missions in a game that you can uh, play two characters at the same time. There's four of them, and this is one of them, and it's from the beginning of the game. And this is a mission that we get to know the psycho character, who was a ma mafia enforcer. Mm. And he went rogue on a mission, killed everyone as one character from a Fargo movie. And, and Bob is here to help him out. So, so <laughs> first we have to learn how to chop bodies as a psycho. <laughs> and then we are getting at the map and cleaning all of that psycho prepared for us. Very cool. Now, Obviously, switching between characters, the different mechanics, that makes a ton of sense from like a story perspective. Um, was there ever like a world where you considered doing a co-op version? Yeah, yeah, but we really wanted to, to t tell a story mm. uh, and to make a game, game that resembles 90s cinema. And all those movies that people are sitting in one place and talking about stories and, and like usual suspects, for example. Right. Yeah, that was something really important for us. That's, that's something that we tried to, to mimic in our game. Nice. So in terms of the variety of levels going on from here, I'm, I'm guessing you have a bunch more after you yeah. know, the vacuuming, the blood snow. Yeah, the, in the game are actually 20 playable, uh, playable missions. Awesome. And then you have like six flashbacks, more narrative focused missions. Cool. Cool. Well, thank you so much. You can get your grubby fingerprints on Serial Cleaners on September 22nd. Keep watching IGN Live at Gamescom for more.